right, hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Tonight's Moto Vlog is gonna be about going out to social events. Um, let's just go ahead and talk about it. I mean, it goes back to the whole like socially awkward thing and learning to be social. Um, you know, at first, you know, I never went to any parties or anything in high school and, you know, it was, for one, it was tough for me to get out. I didn't live in the city where I went to high school. Um, but another thing was, is I just, you know, I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable in, in like groups of people and I was afraid of awkwardness when no one was talking and, you know, that's, a, it's, it's a legitimate thing to be afraid of, you know, it's a legitimate thing to, you know, feel nervous about and, you know, I still kind of feel that way sometimes. Um, but there's one thing that I realized that like kind of really changed my outlook on on going to social social events is everybody is just as awkward as you are like it's kind of a weird thing to realize but it's true everybody's still afraid of the same things everybody doesn't want to have those awkward silences they don't want to say the wrong thing and they don't want to slip up but the thing is like you just have to remember that if you make a mistake you make a mistake if you say something dumb you know, it's not the end of the world. You just said something dumb for, you know, two minutes. You know, there's a difference between saying something dumb and like confessing your love for someone in front of a bunch of people or, you know, saying something real dumb. But for the most part, if you mess up, you're gonna be totally fine. Like, it's it really is no big deal. Um, it's starting to rain. Uh, that's kind of, doesn't really make me too happy. But, you know, it's, you know, it's okay to be awkward. It's okay to, you know, make mistakes and say stupid stuff. Because honestly, if those people really enjoy who you are and they enjoy, you know, your company and they appreciate you for who you are, you know, they learn to live with those like, ah, uh, you made a blunder there, whatever, no big deal. Or, you know, whatever, no big deal. And, um, it's crazy because it took me a really long time to figure that out and it's just such a minor thing that like if you make a mistake it's not it's not the end of the world if you make a mistake everything's still gonna go on tomorrow you know the, the world doesn't end or anything like that but in the moment it feels like it and in the moment really you can't you don't feel like there's anything that you can do to to bounce back from it and that's what really kept me from you know, from going out and having a good time and enjoying other people's company in high school and college was because, you know, I was nervous, I was afraid of making making a fool out of myself. But really, it's, it's okay. It's okay to be dumb. Um, it's okay to act the fool sometimes and it's okay to, to make those blunders because, you know, it happens to everyone. Just, you know, just take it easy, calm down, take a breath, and it'll be all right. And really, like that's the kind of biggest piece of information that I can give you is if you have trouble being social just just put yourself in a social situation and figure out how other people react to you and then you know learn for the next time because if you do make a mistake if you do end up learning something that night you know carry it into the next conversation or do you know do better do a little bit better next time and that's what I always tell you guys is do better next time and with being social, it's the same thing, but really, the most important thing that you can do is put yourself out there and be in the situation to meet new people and to sharpen your skills. Because it's just like riding a motorcycle. You don't get better at riding a motorcycle, you know, by watching YouTube videos about it. You get better at riding a motorcycle by actually going out there and riding a motorcycle. You don't... You don't drop your motorcycle once and be like, okay, I guess that's the end of it. You know, let me go ahead and put my, let me just go ahead and pull the ripcord and uh, leave my bike in the street and get the heck out of here and I'll go ahead and walk everywhere. Or let me go ahead and garage it for the rest of forever. No, you take that traumatic experience and then you use it as a learning lesson. Because that's, that's honestly what it is. It's a learning lesson. And it's okay to, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to, to, to f figure things out on the way and you know it's it's a struggle for a lot of people to do that because hey you know it's not it's not a comfortable thing to do it's 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 you know it hurts when you make a mistake 
But if you're with people that really care about you and the people who are really willing to help, really willing to help you out, you know, they'll they'll be fine. And everybody understands that you're going to be awkward. You're everybody's awkward at some point or another. Everybody says something dumb. So if if it's going to be your turn to do it, you know, you know, then do it. Rather than, you know, pigeonhole yourself or stay home for forever and be lonely, you know, go out there and do it. And really, if you, if you're on the other side of the coin and you're a social butterfly and you see someone mess up, don't rub it in their face or anything like that. Don't do anything like super dumb or, you know, insult them, you know, because everybody makes, everybody makes mistakes. So, you know, be easy on them. Just, you know, chuckle, you know, make sure they, you know, know it's a joke, but don't poke at them, you know, just take it easy. And really being social is just, it's about encountering enough situations to where you understand how other people work and you understand how to make it, how to do it better the next time. And really, if you can do it, if you can have that in your mind as soon as you're going out and doing it, then you're way better off than everybody else, you know? You're way better off. Because not a lot of people understand that. Not a lot of people get that, hey, it's a learning opportunity. Let me go ahead and, uh, let me go ahead and figure it out on the way. It's like society punishes people for, you know, trying to put yourself out there. And, you know, is that fair? No, it's totally not fair. But is life fair? No. Life is about learning things the hard way sometimes. It's about really figuring yourself out. And if you can figure out that, hey, I'm an awkward person, I don't really like, you know, hanging out in social situations, then awesome, dude. If you figure that out, great. But I'm saying give it a chance because there's a lot of great things to be enjoyed from other people. There's a lot of great things to, you know, to enjoy with other people. Um, and really, you just have to put yourself in the position to be willing to, you know, to make it happen. You gotta set foot outside before, you know, you can actually meet the love of your life, laugh at that really funny joke, see that really cool movie. You gotta get out there. and. Really, it, it's super simple. Like, just get out there and do it. But if you struggle, then it's okay to be a wallflower. It's okay to just, you know, sit and listen to people. Suck back on a few beers. Oh, beer, that's another thing. Beer will really help you out in social situations or, or, or it will make it completely 100% worse. Um, but anyways, I'm at Target. I gotta pick up a, a gift for this whole gift exchange thing that I'm going to. But, you know, hey, I will catch you guys in a couple minutes. Give me, give me like 10 or 15 and then we'll go ahead and figure this out together. But I will definitely continue this one with the whole beer strategy. All right, so I managed to get that my thing for my little gift exchange deal. Um, and really, like, going to social events is kind of drag. I mean, everybody feels the same way. At some point, people are like, oh man, you know, what the heck? I don't want to do this. I don't want to play these stupid games. I don't want to do this and that. But hey, you know, it was somebody's idea to get all of your punk asses out there and, you know, doing stuff. So just participate, you know. If, if you think it's hard to go out to a party, imagine how hard it is to plan a party. Like, totally different side of the coin. Oh, but anyways, I was talking to you about beer. Uh, beer is like, and alcohol, is liquid courage. Um, that's what <laughs> Eric Bana, I learned that from Eric Bana. He did an interview on a, I can't remember what car he's driving. It's a Torino, I think, something like that. No, a Falcon XB Coupe, that's what it is. Uh, he races his Falcon XB Coupe, and at the same time, he's doing a um, an interview, and he grabs a bottle of Heineken, and he's like, time for a little bit of liquid courage, and he drinks a beer, and at first I found it kind of funny, but it's true. Beer and alcohol is liquid courage. It kind of wipes away that filter that you have, that little, that little pre-filter, and sometimes it's a good thing, like I said, but 
you know, it can get you out of your comfort zone, it can make you feel comfortable, and you know, it gets you to just relax and be more talkative and be a little bit more open. And you know, it's just like everything else, enjoy it in moderation or else you're gonna make yourself look like a dumbass and everybody's gonna laugh at you, they're gonna laugh at how drunk you were and it'll be funny for everyone but you. And honestly, like, that's kind of the situation that you wanna avoid. Um, but, you know, it's just, it goes back to the whole same deal, like, uh, being in a social situation, you can either be a wallflower or you can be the drunk guy that's passed out on the couch with a bunch of dicks drawn on his face. Like, like, you know, two sides of the same coin. So that's what, you know, you want to be somewhere in the middle. You don't want to be the guy with the dicks on the face. And you definitely don't want to be the guy who's just sitting twiddling their thumbs in the corner. You know, it's a delicate balance. So, you know, you just got to find that balance and figure out what's going on really. You gotta, you gotta find that, that medium. Because really, you know, that's that's the golden spot. That's where you're gonna have a ton of fun. And, you know, if you're having fun, people are gonna like you, you're gonna be more willing to hang out later and, you know, just have a good time. And participate. If someone's having like a, a super deep conversation about, about whatever, you don't have to like lie about it. You don't have to be like, oh, you know, I know X, Y, and Z about this. Um, you know, just just try to add your two cents in. You know, there's a delicate balance with everything in life, and you just gotta find it. You gotta find that balance. And usually, for me, one or two beers in, I'm finding that balance. You know what I mean? Ooh, here's a parking spot. Yeah, you gotta find the balance. So just, just you know find the balance. Anyways guys, I am at my destination. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's kind of short. I might do a little bit a little bit of a post uh, post social interaction thing with you guys later, but uh, until the next time, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, just feel free to drop them in the comment box. If you didn't like the video, give me a dislike. But until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. And this is No One's Watching. Peace out. Alright guys, so thank you for tuning in. I made a critical error. Um, no, the party isn't over or anything like that. The little shindig. I wouldn't even say it's a party. It's like a little... Yeah, I guess it's a party. Kick back at Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, I made a huge error. Um, one, I did not bring my phone with me. I am... I don't know why I didn't bring it. Because it was probably dead. And I decided to throw it on the charger. And I forgot about it. So, it's at home. Sitting on the charger. Not in my pocket. So, that sucks because here's the even more critical error part. I think I'm at the wrong location. Um, I don't know if I dreamt of, uh, you know, us saying, hey, let's go ahead and kick it at the B-dubs in Menifee. I have no idea. Uh, but they are not here. This thing was scheduled for... 6.30, 7 o'clock, right around there. It is now like 7, 10. No one is there. Um, I walked through there. I managed to watch everyone coming in too. And nobody is there right now. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and ride home, pick up my phone, figure out if... Uh, figure out what the deal is. Oh, and then... Uh, Wow, sorry about that. Go home, figure out what the deal is, and then uh, go ahead and either stay in for the rest of the night or show up late and drink a lot. But, you know, right now it kind of sucks because uh, I did not communicate. Of course, nobody wants to be the first one there. So, you know, I thought, yeah, I'll just wait till like 7.15. But it's supposed to be like 15 people going to this thing, and I didn't see anyone. So that's kind of a problem. I'm kind of looking out for traffic right now. I'm still not seeing anyone. Um, it's kind of funny because I did see someone from another store that I work at, and it was kind of awkward because I don't remember his name. Uh, 
but I, I thought it was him and then turn around it looked like him but I was already rounding the corner um, so I was just like ah eh, forget it but anyways I gotta go back and get my phone um, usually you want to iron out these details beforehand because it just kind of cuts down on some of that felt stress that everybody feels when you know you go to a, a get together a little shindig thing but yeah so I don't know hopefully I can figure myself out figure out exactly where I went wrong here grab my cell phone oh shoot dude I gotta run to the bank too dang it man I'm all over the place I am not dressing for success right now but yeah guys I made a mistake also um, I realized that when I went into Target that I didn't have my backpack to put this the gift that I'm getting this you know for this exchange thing so I'm like oh crap and then I realized like the jacket that I have on is not my normal riding jacket because it's raining today well it was raining and I don't have my registration and insurance so not only was I planning on doing some drinking I I'm riding without registration or proof of insurance like no bueno no bueno no bueno at all. But we'll see if I can bust home quick enough and make it happen. But let make this <laughs> let this be a learning lesson, guys. Make sure you know where you're going and what time you're supposed to be there. And don't forget your damn phone. Alright guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. If I add another part onto this, then awesome. If not, it's because I managed to stay in for for the night because I'm a lazy bum and it's getting cold out. Oh, I forgot to go to the bank! Dang it! Um, anyways, I, uh, yeah, I forgot. Anyways, I will uh, PC you guys in a little bit. Hopefully I have enough money in my wallet for this whole thing. But anyways, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I'm so embarrassed, but it's okay. Everybody makes mistakes. Until next time, this is No One's Watching, peace out.